somebody cut you off and they lost. <laughs> Thank you.
not wait too long, then I tell them, oh, okay, you can stop. Good afternoon. Thank you to our band. We invite all to find a seat so that our commencement ceremony can begin. We expect to enjoy a wonderful celebration this afternoon. However, in the event of an emergency, school system and pavilion staff will follow our emergency operations plan. If there is a need to evacuate during today's ceremony, please exit the pavilion through the nearest exit and seek the nearest safe shelter. In addition, School staff members in security vests are waving to you now from exits at each of the four corners of the pavilion. Please note the location of your nearest exit, and in case of emergency, walk, do not run to that exit. If there is an announcement to evacuate, we may not be able to resume the program. 
If that is the case, diplomas may be picked up on Thursday, June 1st at River Hill High School between 7.30 a.m. and 2 p.m. Following the ceremony, we ask that graduates, guests, and school staff avoid lingering and vacate the parking lots as quickly as possible. This is necessary to ensure that those arriving are able to park and find a seat in advance of the ceremony that is following ours. At this time, we ask that you ensure that all aisles are clear for the safety of the graduates as they process to their seats. Thank you.
now please rise for the singing of our national anthem performed by the senior class members of the River Hill Choirs. If you are willing and able, please remove your hat. You may all be seated. At this time, please welcome Christina Chow to the stage for your official graduation welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and the incredible students of River Hill, welcome to our first of many celebrations. You might recognize my face or my voice from Hawk Talk, our morning daily announcement show. And as a show anchor, I had the honor of sharing the student community's accomplishments, the vibrant clubs and programs, and the causes and charities we championed. Now, I have the great honor of bringing you the class of 2023's last and final edition of Hawk Talk, graduation style. To begin our announcements, I would like to extend a huge congratulations to each and every one of you. We did it. Relish in this moment. It is time to celebrate yourselves, your resilience, and all of your amazing accomplishments. And seriously, take it from me. We read each and every single one of them every morning. And truthfully, sometimes it felt like I would never get to leave that anchor chair. Anyways, our high school time flew by, but let's slow down today. Now, for upcoming club meetings, well, we only have this one, graduation. And it might be hard to believe, but we do have 100% attendance, and surprisingly, we're all on time. And even though this is our last Hawk Talk, I encourage you to savor these announcements and enjoy our successes. I'm still amazed at how modest you all are, despite your incredible achievements. Let's use today to cherish the nostalgia and enjoy the endless memories we made. Appreciate the people who were there for us when we needed them the most, and be proud of the people we are today because our freshmen selves definitely would be. This is me signing off for the very last time. Tune in for the next stage of our lives. Have a great day, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2023. We made it. Now, please welcome to the stage Serena Goyle to introduce our stage guests. Good afternoon. At this time, we would like to recognize and thank some special individuals 
without whose hard work we would not have received such an exceptional education. Guests, as you are introduced, please stand to be recognized. On the stage at this time, we have the Honorable Dr. Calvin Ball, Howard County Executive. <laughs> Dr. Yoon Liu, Vice Chair, Howard County Board of Education. <laughs> Dr. Lin Feng Chen, Howard County Board of Education. Ms. Jennifer Swickard Mallow, Howard County Board of Education. <laughs> Dr. Michael J. Martirano, Superintendent, Howard County Public School System. <laughs> Ms. Michaela Lidgard, Principal, River Hill High School. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Thank Ms. Lidgard. Um, she presented me with the Top Flight Award at the Senior Farewell Assembly, and I really appreciate all that you do for our school, Ms. Lidgard. Also on stage, we have the Honorable Vanessa E. Atterbury, Maryland State Delegate, District 13. The Honorable Je Jennifer Teresa, Maryland State Delegate, District 13. The Honorable Chow Wu, Maryland State Delegate, District 9A. The Honorable Natalie Ziegler, Maryland State Delegate, District 9A. The Honorable Deb Young, Vice Chairperson of the Howard County Council, District 4. Dr. Anissa Dennis, Chief School Management and Instructional Leadership Officer. <laughs> Mr. Scott Washington, Chief Operating Officer. <laughs> Mr. Pat Saunderson, Community Superintendent. <laughs> Mr. Justin Fitzgerald, Director of Schools. River Hill High School Assistant Principals, Mr. Kareem Penn. <laughs> Ms. Kelly Hearns. <laughs> and Mr. Patrick Seibel. <laughs> River Hill High School Athletic and Activities Director, Mr. James Creighton. The Class of 2023 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Stephen Perot. And we would like to also recognize Ms. Tina Burchick and Ms. Megan Meyer, Class of 2023 Sponsors. And River Hill High School staff members, Ms. Callie Casper and Mr. Jesse Childress. Now please welcome Maria DeCuto for the reflection speech. We did also have one late ad, if you can announce Ms. Gazzoni. Um, Ms. We would also like to recognize the Honorable Pamela Gazzone, Maryland State Delegate, District 13. Thank you. Good afternoon. 17 years ago, Disney released a movie that would shape our views forever. The 2006 release of High School Musical can be single-handedly accredited for our high school ideals and expectations we held for years. Montages of song and dance fueled our excitement for the future. Growing up watching the Friday night football games from the fence, enviously observing Homecoming Spirit Week via Instagram stories, and walking our siblings across the field for their senior nights all contributed to our growing excitement. As we graduated middle school with hopes in our hearts, we prepared ourselves to say goodbye to our best friends and embark on a new journey. Our anticipations grew, yet because of the cinematic example, we felt ready to take on the next four years. 
Many of us walked through the double doors on September 3rd, 2019 as individuals seeking to take part in something larger than ourselves. High School Musical prepared us to expect some trial, conflict, and hardship, yet none of us had any idea what we were walking into. The process of finding our place seemed to take longer than many had anticipated. Yet through community found in our fall sports teams, new clubs, and challenging classes, we met many new faces who would soon become our best friends. Within a matter of weeks, life had begun to settle into all we had expected. Everyone seemed to fit somewhere as High School Musical had promised. We flew through our first fall sports season, all of the homecoming festivities, and a myriad of performances. We were no longer individuals separated by our respective middle schools. We were all becoming hawks. Life was going according to the plot we were promised. Though difficult, the freedoms accompanying our new lives were great. Yet seemingly out of nowhere, our music was instantly quieted. The song and dance we had grown accustomed to had to be paused. Within three short months, our community was rocked by deep, impactful losses. The academic rigor, athletic competition, and our social lives were all momentarily paused. Death was no longer a distant idea, but rather became a tangible occurrence. The pain of loss seemed unshakable, yet we knew that with the support of each other in our school community, we could manage together. Students and teachers alike stepped up for each other in ways many of us had never seen before. As students, we don't expect to see our teachers cry, yet such a vulnerable demonstration of emotion led us in openly accepting our own feelings. And then the pause became a hard stop. We were sent home. The physical distance between ourselves and those who best understood us grew. We were forced to quickly adapt to a new way of life that was primarily lonely. We learned to pick up these broken pieces and turn them into something beautiful. COVID ushered in a new era at River Hill. Upon returning to in-person instruction in the fall of our junior year, many aspects of our lives fell out of shuffle. We were physically together, yet still incredibly out of sync. This year proved that we were all in this together as we finally got to live out the plot we were promised. Today, we are breaking free from the conceptions of the past. The start of something new begins now. Best of luck, class of 2023. Now please welcome Shrieker Bala to the stage for the keynote speech. <laughs> the dandelion. It starts as a small rosette of leaves, then grows a long stem with a bright yellow flower that attracts pollinators, making it essential for survival. Soon after, it transforms into a globe of fluffy white seeds that catch the wind and spread far and wide. Then it disappears for a while, only to return stronger and more resilient than ever. As we gather here today to celebrate our graduation, I can't help but think about the dandelion a seemingly ordinary weed with a remarkable life cycle that parallels our collective journey throughout high school. We are subtle and essential. Starting from one place and scattering, just like the dandelion, we came from different backgrounds and paths, but we all ended up together. And just like the dandelion, we were underestimated. Like the annoying resilience of the weed, we always persevere. And our individual talents and abilities make us uniquely able to impact the world around us. Throughout our years in school, we have grown under the watchful eyes of our teachers, family, and community members. Freshman year was about forming roots, getting comfortable, and finding your place. Sophomore year was about growth, developing and challenging ourselves to learn new things while adjusting to new environments. Junior year, we began to shine and show our potential and like the dandelion, became yellow. And now, as seniors, we transition from yellow to white, ready to take on the challenges of tomorrow. 
but we know that the journey doesn't end here. Like the dandelion seeds, our teachers blow us to the wind, and we will scatter until we settle somewhere. We will join other dandelions united in creating change. We've seen how fierce we've been during the pandemic. We have persevered through unprecedented times and shown our strength and resilience. Our teachers have watched us learn, recognizing our talents and potential, even when we looked more like weeds. And now, like the dandelion, they make their final wish for us to go out and be successful. As we begin to drift away, remember, we are incredibly important to the world. We need change to save the world, and we are ready to be a part of that change. So let's go there and make that difference. Let's continue to thrive and be fierce, just like the dandelion. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2023. I'd now like to welcome Claire Huang and Isabel Marcus to the stage to perform Climb Every Mountain from The Sound of Music. Thank you. I'd now like to welcome Aaron Larson to the stage to introduce our Speaker of the Year, Teacher of the Year.
Good afternoon, everyone. You do not have to be good, Mary Oliver assures in her poem, Wild Geese, the very first poem Mr. Perot read with us this year in English. It is a poem about many things, but most of all, it reminds us to show up as we are, no matter what that may be. English with Mr. Perot is a year-long masterclass in the lessons of Mary Oliver's Wild Geese. Each of us started the year as individuals all at different points, with different thoughts, goals, and experiences under our belts. And under Mr. Perot's instruction, we've been encouraged to grow as individuals, but also as a community, something equally as valuable. It is very clear Mr. Perot loves what he teaches, and he's a teacher who's passionate about English, but also about the art of teaching itself. He knows how to truly reach a group of young people, engage them with the material, and make every lesson feel novel and relevant. He knows how to harness our creativity, and his assignments give us plenty of room to express ourselves, with ample reminders that our unique interpretations and our own ideas are highly valued. Along with an intellectually stimulating classroom environment, Mr. Perot brings a special mix of empathy, compassion, and relatability to every class. He just gets it one of my classmates said to me recently, reflecting on the connection he has with his students. And I know we all certainly appreciate his indulging our love for tangents, running jokes, and my own penchant for the word slay. Multiple times a week, we would all arrange ourselves around the edges of the classroom for a community circle. And while the questions tended to vary from week to week, one that would always be asked was, what is making you happy this week? And this week, I am very happy to be up here speaking for Mr. Perot as River Hills Teacher of the Year at our 2023 graduation. <laughs> so congratulations, Mr. Perot, on behalf of the entire senior class. You deserve it. Thank you, Aaron. Before I get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to my parents, my wife Dasha, who is the best teacher in the world, and my amazing daughters, Carly and Nora. Thank you for supporting me through everything and being here today. Good afternoon, River Hill families, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the class of 2023. I'm deeply honored to be here today sharing this moment as your chosen Teacher of the Year. And I'm happy to report that as of today, I have fully recovered from the action-packed senior picnic water battle. <laughs> My gratitude is only deepened by this setting. What better backdrop for this auspicious day than this singular venue? The diplomas you receive in just a few minutes will be forever imbued with the sonic resonance of performances like Jimi Hendrix's first public rendition of the national anthem here during a thunderstorm in August of 1968, Pink Floyd's 1972 performance on their Dark Side of the Moon tour, Guster's collaboration with our very own Howard County Youth Orchestra earlier this month, and of course, Taylor Swift's 2009 You Belong With Me show opener. In this, my eighth year of teaching, but first in a new school, you, class of 2023, helped me rediscover the magical possibilities that exploring stories with a true community can offer. Like many others, the pandemic knocked my sense of the world off of its axis. And privately, even after returning to in-person instruction, I worried that I'd never again experience the special atmosphere of a classroom practically humming with ideas, where a sense of comfort lets each member of a class play a unique role by adding personal dimensions to discussions and continually developing absurd inside jokes. Despite my worry and much to my delight, we got to that place almost immediately this year. I attribute our quick development of such an atmosphere with your quick embrace of the practice of community circles. The idea is simple. There's a question and everyone has a chance to answer with the option each time to pass. Pretense and awkwardness dispensed with, you let it all out. 
once we'd established our preferred form of potatoes, our favorite file extensions, and of course, what was making us happy that week, you brought the same unflappable open-mindedness to whatever poem or story I was unreasonably excited about that day. All year, I demanded interpretations of everything, a big ask, and you were game. You gave me your interpretations of a boy chasing a red balloon around Paris, and of the saga of Said and Nadia as they navigated magical portals in a changing world. After a lockdown left us rattled, we puzzled over the significance of a one inch tall anthropomorphic shell together. Shout out to Nana Connie. The interpretations continue to pace. Kafka's cockroach, Edna's struggles on Grand Isle, Nora's chafing against social constraint, the Yi family's farming, and of course, Hamlet's brooding indecision. Through them all, you puzzled over their mystery and dreamt up illuminative explanations of no depths of, sorry, of depths that no machine learning language model could possibly aggregate. Often, you'd ask me for my interpretation, and I usually demurred, out of fear that mine would unduly influence or distract from yours. Our efforts to disentangle the mysteries of poetry and prose now behind us, I'd like to finally offer my own interpretation. The events of this year, starting with our exposition in September, through our personal highs and lows, and now to this denouement, are as complex and slippery in their totality as any piece of literary fiction. Our shared experiences and your approach, class of 2023, offer a message of hope. Despite all of the distraction, the constant background roar of a noisy world, and the invitation from slickly engineered platforms encouraging you to engage in anxious comparison, you defied such traps and created a community in the classroom, the studio, the auditorium, the gym, and on the fields and courts. You poured your heart into routine pieces of writing about photos from around the world in my class, and outside of it, let your creative spirit truly flourish on the pages of student publications and in visual and musical art. As you move on from this place, take that eagerness to develop a community with you and continue using your impulse to cultivate meaningful connection. Listen for and accept the world's offer of itself to your imagination, calling to you like the wild geese. But be prepared to respond with your own joy, too. Jaya Rudgard pointed out that we tend to view joy as something that either happens to us by chance in lucky moments, or as something that we have to deserve, that we get as the fruit, the reward of good behavior or skillful cultivation. We can reframe that, she said, to think of joy as something we can offer as a gift to the world, offer as a gift through our lives, rather than being something that we take or we must wait to receive. I'd like to sign off by sharing a lyric from a band who performed on this stage six times. Fare thee well now, let your life proceed by its own design. Nothing to tell now, let the words be yours, I am done with mine. I love you all, thank you for a year I'll never forget. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Ball, Dr. Calvin Ball. Good afternoon, River Hill High School family. I shall endeavor to follow the three Bs of excellent commencement speech giving. Be meaningful, be brief, and be seated. <laughs> Kipling, in his poem, If, says that if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be too tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same, 
If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. Hawks, you have kept your heads held high during one of the most challenging times in our world's history. You've proven that you can trust yourselves to do the big things. You have navigated negativity from others, days that felt like eternities, the rumor mill, bouts of haterade served with a side of shade. And I know that you have big dreams, and today marks a giant leap toward them. And while you have tasted both triumph and disaster, you will fly higher towards success than you can ever imagine. As you continue to build your toolkit of life, you will sometimes see things that matter to you broken. Remember that you have what it takes to build them up. You have what it takes to become your very best selves. Graduates, Please know that your teachers, your family, your entire Howard County community is immensely proud of you. You are surrounded by hope and love. Enjoy this day, your day. Dream big, think big, do the big things. You've demonstrated by getting to this point, this milestone, that you are capable of whatever you put your mind to, you are limitless. Embrace your purpose, and as Kipling also says in that same poem, if yours is the earth and everything that's in it. Congratulations, class of 2023. We love you. I am a lot shorter than some of the speakers who have been up here today. <laughs> You've heard a lot of stories this afternoon. Christina told the story of accomplishment and of celebrating together. Maria shared a story of your collective high school experience with all of the expectations met and deferred that it involved. Aaron's narrative introduced a teacher who made clear from day one the importance of showing up as who you are and accepting nothing less of oneself or others. Mr. Perot shared his story, a story of daring to create community and of being so bold as to accept that joy is our very own creation, a gift that we give the world if only we are brave enough. Claire and Isabel performed a song that glorifies the power of reaching for the dream and of breathing life and love into that dream. Shrieker spoke of the story of your resilience and perseverance and of a truth that is essential and timeless. We need change to save the world. I share Shrieker's faith and I believe that you are ready to drive that change. I want to take a moment to thank those teachers like Mr. Perot that developed in you a belief in your capacity to live your story and the fierce tenacity to write your story of tomorrow. Educators make every future possible, and I am in deep awe of our staff and of our students who have chosen to pursue a career in the field of education for their sacrifice and contribution to our community and our collective future. Please note, if you're one of those people, you may one day get to be a rock star just like Mr. Perot. It is our deepest hope as you leave River Hill that you remember always the prologue to your story the story of where you came from, the story of your how, and the story of your why. And as you remember, I hope you also let go. Because while the past is prologue, the most powerful part of your story is the story that is still waiting to be told, and it can be told by no one else but you. It is the story that you are writing today and in your dreams and into tomorrow. As you write and rewrite and adapt to unforeseen plot twists, Remember that your story, written in the ink of the days to come, will change the world. 
let every word be a gift of joy and love to the world and to yourself. On behalf of the staff of River Hill, we love you and we are so excited to hear about your next chapters. Dr. Liu and Dr. Martirano, as principal of River Hill High School, I hereby certify that these graduates seated before you have met all the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Howard County Public School System and the Maryland State Department of Education. They are eligible to receive a Maryland High School Diploma, a Certificate of Completion, Certificate of Attendance, or Certificate of Achievement. And now it is my distinct privilege to introduce Dr. Michael Martirano, our Superintendent of Schools. Good afternoon, and give your principal a big round of applause if you would. You look absolutely wonderful, and it is a beautiful day in Howard County. If you are able and willing, please stand, members of the audience, and give these fine, beautiful young people a big round of applause. Please stand right now and join me in a thunderous round of applause for them. I can't hear you. A little louder, River Hill. A little louder, River Hill. Come on. Give them a round of applause. They deserve it. They are the center of our thoughts, and a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And to our young people, there is, I've attended every graduation this entire week, and it is my favorite time of the year. And I've listened to the various forms of advice, and one of the major forms of advice was, if you make a mistake, apologize, own it, and move forward. Well, I want to apologize to this senior class and own it for the lack of snow days that you did not receive this year. I received your early morning emails telling me there was a flurry or two and I should be aware, but I do want to apologize and I am now moving forward. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Again, greetings to the class of 2023 and to all the wonderful families and friends who have joined our Howard County Public School System to celebrate you. You look amazing as I've already said and this event by far is the highlight of our entire school year. It's a culminating event. And as I begin my brief words, I want you to think about your most influential teacher. And you heard about your amazing teacher of the year. Give him another round of applause. Fine words, sir, fine words. And as you think about all of your educators, ponder that thought for a moment and think about the qualities that they possess. If I were to ask you to share those traits, I would be almost certain that you would say things like, they believe in you that they deliver instruction in a meaningful and purposeful way, that they support and respect you, and that they explain the why of the learning process. And I know everyone would truly say this, that they really and truly do care about you. And as one student mentioned to me recently, he said that as everything was just a little bit better when his teacher was in it, now think about that. Wouldn't it be epic, absolutely epic, if someone felt this way about each and every one of us? Now many of you know Maya Angelou, and Maya Angelou has taught us that people will usually forget what we did or what we said, but they will surely remember and always remember how they treated us and how they made us feel. So I ask you, young people, you graduates, I ask you, how will you take your rich and robust knowledge that you have acquired in our classrooms and use it in an artful, elegant, and purposeful way to make a better life for those that you are in your sphere of influence? Martin Luther King Jr. tells us that no matter what your chosen path is, do it as Michelangelo painted, or Beethoven composed music, or Shakespeare wrote poetry. And now let me pull it all together. Yes, I want you to mark your path with excellence and be your own Michelangelo, Beethoven, or Shakespeare. But just as importantly, 
Be kind. Please be kind to those who you encounter on your journey. And do everything that you can to add more love to this world so that when people think of you, they know that everything will just be a little bit better with you in it. To the class of 2023, please know I am so proud of you. Congratulations, and in the words of the late, great Tina Turner, you are simply the best. Job well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now it is my auspicious pleasure to introduce our Board of Education member, your elected Board of Education member, Dr. Yun Lu. Dr. Lu, please go to the podium. Give her a round of applause as she goes to the podium. Thank you very much, and I can't wait to see you as you receive your diploma. Congratulations. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Howard County Board of Education, it's my honor to congratulate you River Hill High School, class of 2023. As a River Hill parent, I have no money for you since elementary school. Each of you are unique and equally beautiful. Today is an important milestone for you. You are ready for a new chapter in your life. There's a lot I want to say, but I know you do not want to hear a long speech. There is a platinum rule. Treat others the way they want to be treated. So I will end my speech here. Class of 2023, it's time to receive your diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin with the awarding of diplomas, I would like to remind everyone of a few very important things so that we can proceed in a way that respects each and every one of our amazing graduates. Please hold your applause until every one of our graduates has been recognized. Additionally, please refrain from using noisemakers so that all of our graduates' names can be heard. It is important to us that each graduate and their family have the opportunity to hear their name as they receive their diploma. LifeTouch Photography will take an official photograph of each graduate, so we ask that you please remain seated throughout the ceremony so that every audience member can see the entire time. Thank you. Dr. Liu, please allow the following Howard County Public School System staff members to award their children's diplomas. Mrs. Erin Ahmed, Swansfield Elementary. Anissa Michelle Ahmed. Mrs. Judy DeMossi, Oakland Mills High School. Dylan James DeMossi. <laughs> Miss Ginny Gick, Central Office. Andrew Stratton Gick. Mr. Thomas Gruneberg, River Hill High School, Carly Sarah Gruneberg. <laughs> Mrs. Blandina Hlasco, Waterloo Elementary, Paula Anna Hlasco. Mrs. Lisa Johnson, Folly Quarter Middle School. Cody Thomas Johnson. <laughs> Mr. 
Mrs. Zoma Lancashire, River Hill High School, Nicholas Jeffrey Lancashire. Miss Lori Estes, Centennial High School, Anna Markery. <laughs> Mrs. Yvette Pruitt, River Hill High School, Mia Yvonne Pruitt. Christina Kylie Chow. <laughs> Serena Tara Goyle. <laughs> Maria Isabella Christodilaki Stucudo. Shrikar Bala, Claire Wong, Isabel Christine Marcus, Aaron Nicole Larson, Alma Victoria Hagstrom. Katie Jean McGeehan. Cassidy Jean Scott. Ethan Aban. Salyu Marat Abraham. Joshua Abu, Teddy Manuel Agarmida, Inaya Fatima Ahmed, Talal Ekris, Michal Alamgir, Asher Benjamin Albert. David Norman Albinson, Rachel Stephanie Alvarez Parada, Anil Benjamin Ambrosi, Gia Jitesh Amin, Mitra Diana Armenian Razavi. Madeline Ovida Antaville, Mark Antony, Deborah Esther Arujo, Ava Arya, Mohammed Baris Atez, Eliana Ruth Axler. Ashley Renee Ayers, Adam Mustafa Bahrain, Rajul Bajaj, Jocelyn Annette Baker, Ashika Balaji, Matthew Ryan Bierman. Lindsay Elizabeth Beitzel. Jason Andrew Benedict. Jonah Amir Burson. Daniel Hussein Badi.
Elizabeth Evelyn Billups. Everett Cole Burden. Elliot Colin Bissant. Jasmine Lee Bourne. Elaria Boutros. Adelaide Zelia Britton. Moayan Brodus. Dimitri Brosomley. Kyan Alexander Buckley. Laresia Nacrimia Sims Buckner. Ethan Michael Burnett. Allison Elizabeth Burns. Benjamin Harrison Townsend Burton. Victoria Rose Bush. Elise Jean Callahan. Gabriella Jin Campese. Daniel Matthew Carr. Donna Germain Cazo. Anisha Chakrabarty. Colin Phi Chan. Isabel June Chang. Rayon Hassan Chaudhry. Samantha Francis Ciccarelli. Suvroth Chivakula. Jacob Michael Cohen. Maisie Jane Connolly. Peter Sean Conroy. Rachel Corley. Marley Ani Cosgrove. Jack Preston Crown. Alexander Zhang Tsui. Ray Roylin Dai. Christopher Hugo D'Antonio. Lena Ali Darwish. Tahir Murtaza Dawood. Nobodoman Day. Allison Nicole D. Christian Robert Delaney. Samantha Bree Denzel. Anton Peter Dawn.
Leo Singpei Du. Evelyn Marie Zubak. Bushra Khalid El Badawi. Paula Marie Elguera. Aaron James Ennis. Rima Esrib. Sienna Catherine Evers. Was that that? No, that was. Claire Diane Fagan. Ella Grace Ferrer. Edda Fisgen. Grayson Elizabeth Fortune. Colin Joseph Fowler. Brooke Samantha Fox. Elizabeth Shu Fu. Emily Fuentes. Cheyenne Brooke Gabriana. Jennifer Gao. Zitren Gao. Isha Gurukapati. Ava Suzanne Gassell. Jawan Gasseri. Armand David Gazzotti. Emma Sarah Gazzotti. Samar Guman. Sungeen Guman. Benjamin Harris Gleros. Ariana Asia Glenn. Bonsi Chowdhury Goganeni. Samuel Jakob Goidam. Ella Kaylee Goldberg. Riley Isabel Gonzalez. Cody Aiden Goodnight. Emma Nicole Gauker. Vishal Gudapati. Riley Garasio. Jason Xingtao Guo. Dhruv Gupta. Kwabana Ado Nayameche Jesse. John Michael Hadid. Yahia Halawa. August Howe. 
Alexander Ryan Hartman. Ellen Tomiko Hasagawa. Eddie He. Soleil Augusta Henriksen. Colin Holden Hess. Townsend Tyler Horner. Jessica Sheen. Grace Liu Wong. Jalen Ming Hu. Agam Nalachum Ameka Ihani Igwe. Inyake Inshin Sandage. Sean Mohan Jareth. Praneel Jakampudi. Jason Jin Jia. Lindsay Jang. Alvin Yetchen Kang. Griffin Charles Karkowski. Nikita Anushka Kasi. Maya Elise K. Nayab Almas Khan. Jay Khanna. Anissa Atif Kawaja. <laughs> Eleanor Sora Kim. <laughs> Jennifer Sunhee Kim. <laughs> Joel Minsu Kim. Joy Kim. <laughs> Michael Jongwoo Kim. Tyler Minjoon Kim. Mashid Kupaya. Dimitri Anest Kutris. Charlotte Shuttling Kraus. Emma Una Koo. Nishka Singh Kumar. Aditya Kumbare. Destiny Kayung Kwan. <laughs> Esther Sukyung Kwan. <laughs> Hadi Mohammed Laban. <laughs> Samuel Hayden Lacey. Ariel Lai. Brooke Elizabeth Lawman. Angela Chewan Lee. Semi Grace Lee. 
Taylor Caitlin Leonard. James Alfredo Levesque. Sheila Grace Lee. Nicole Liang. Gina Lin. Alexandra Sun Liu. Christina Liu. Kashin Liu. Sydney Grace Liu. Tiffany Liu. Ryan Gregory Long. Aaron Dana Lovell. Robert Grady Lovell. Allison Brooke Lubitz. Nathan Manhow Loy. Monish G. Mahajan. Kathleen Mary Majorana. Ian Deve Makode. Muhammad Arham Malik. <laughs> Tobias Malouf Maz. <laughs> Shanuk Mahendra Marate. <laughs> Eric Ian Marlowe. <laughs> Dylan Patrick McCullough. Anthony Joseph Mioni. <laughs> Natalie Waning King Meyer. <laughs> Stephanie Elizabeth Mahalik. <laughs> Askari Mohammed. <laughs> Alexa Blake Mohink. Zafar Momad. Luke Montfort. Luke Michael Morris. Anita Mosberiantana. Mobilaji Oluafeme Motoni. Rishi Molchandani. Simran Molchandani. Lucas Aaron Mullins. Anika Nair. Pooja Chandra Nanjapa. Nikhil Arun Nath. <laughs> Leah Sana Nismith. <laughs> Jason Nguyen. <laughs> Jolene Ann Nguyen. <laughs> Rebecca Yingying Ni. Carter Gibson Nearly. EJ Okogie. D. 
Deba Desiree Morgi. Akweme Onyemechi. Emma Carson Orlando. Nicholas Henry Orlando. Nathan William Osheroff. Tyler Anthony Owens. Zahin Manish Oza. Kayan Ocampo Pachoka. Anch Ashish Parikh. Preston Grace Passamonti. Arnav Patel. Ishan Sunil Patel. Priya Ashni Patel. Priyanchi Ashish Patel. Ria Patel. Ria Patel. Rishika Patabandla. Colt Richard Pitsley. Lauren Almodiel Rabe. Nima Rafi. Priyanka Kirna Ramalu. Bergen Matthew Remick. <laughs> Hannah Paige Resnick. <laughs> Shariah Monica Roberts. <laughs> Amelia Mabel Rose. <laughs> Eric Robert Roth. Katherine Eleanor Roth. Anna Elizabeth Rossell. Sabri Williams Roy. George Sade. Shamir Syed Sahudin. Sophia Helena Salacru. Nico Alexander Sombat. Aaron Sanner. Georgia Caroline Schwab. Sam Richard Scott. Andre Sienez. Fernando Sienez. Varshini Senthil. Syed Ishan Shah. Lily Vibhuti Shunglu. Caitlin Rose Sharp. Marquez Javon Shaw. Yeah. 
Mackey Dorsey Short. Vishwa Arya Sidabatula. Jack Tanner Smoot. Ian Brennan Snoddy. William Randall Speck. Valerie Vianne Stanford. Carter Daniel Stark. Paul Edwin Strategis. Wan Jay Su. Saketh Sundar. Abigail Dapalanga Tamawama. Elia Fatima Tucker. Callie Elizabeth Thompson. Patrick Michael Torrey. Rebecca Fran Tao. Evan Vin Tran. Vichy Dong Tran. Alicia Jenna Udin. Kaside Unegbu. Mary Elizabeth Urban. Roshan Varma. Same Varma. Allison Joy Varson. Madeline Christina Vasilios. Arian Sud Verma. Dino Chapman Versace. Nikitha Vediyamkunath. Noah Brennan Vilk. Angel Jesus Viros Santa Cruz. Arthur Wang. Rachel Louise Warfield. Jaden Stephen Watson. Ethan Maxwell Wiener. Tyler J. Windsor. Mia Riley Wolf. Alexander Spencer Wu. Angela Wu. Elena Carolyn Webker. Yuhao Shi. Amanda Ting Shu. Molly Huang Shu. Grace Yang. Whitney Yi. Lauren Gina Yu. 
Brady Austin Young. Jacob Max Youngworth. Valerie Yu. Sora Yumoto. Mona Susan Zand. Charlie J. Zahn. Alina Day Zhang. Laura Ijun Zhang. Michael Tylun Zhang. Aaron Zhao. Dora Meng Tso. Rayhan Adam Zervi. And now please welcome Alma Hagstrom and Katie McGeehan to the stage to lead the graduates in the senior tradition. Congratulations, River Hill, class of 2023. We've had an amazing four years and we're finally finished our high school journey. It is our honor to lead you in the symbolic turning of the tassels that finalizes our time as River Hill seniors. Please stand. Okay. Should I start? Start with your tassel on the right, and on the count of three, we will turn it to the left. One, One two, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it! <laughs> 